Today, let's slow down and use our committed time to create and try new experiences that take us to the edge of our comfort zone and expand our knowledge of how we do what we do. Hi there, Matt here. Welcome to another intentional session of our spring creative journaling journey created by the one and only Marva Midkiff over in the art room at Intention Inspired. Thank you so much, Marva, for creating these intentional sessions for us to tune into our creativity, our self, and our connection to the world. So today we are going to tune into our body and let it speak to us as we focus and hear it and tune into it throughout the day as much as possible. Feel free to repeat today's affirmation with purpose and intent. I am creative. I create my life. When spring returns again, energy springs into action. Winter has been restful and reflective, but now it is time to grow. That's usually our thought process with the arrival of spring, but this year seems like a lot of us have decided to ease into spring. We want to fully commit to the tasks that we have been waiting to accomplish. We want to get intentional, not to start more than we can finish, more so to finish those projects that we have set aside over the past year or longer. These are the projects that are taking up our space and our thoughts and our feelings, and we want to make room for the new. We're going to slow down this week and use our committed time to create. Except for honoring our commitment of whatever time we chose, we are simply going to play and observe. We will continue to gather data on who we believe ourselves to be as we create and observe ourselves while we play. So today and this week, we're going to focus on new experiences that take us to the edge of that comfortability and in doing so, expanding our knowledge of how we do what we do. So use this week to also observe yourself as you move through the experiences of your day. What are your thoughts? How do you feel? These are wonderful clues that can lead us to the beliefs and the conditioned patterns we tend to operate from. We're not using our data to judge or prove anything to ourselves, so be aware of the mind chatter. That's usually where conditioning shows itself. The mind chatter also holds valuable information, so feel free to document any repetitive mind chatter and use it as data. Sitting Bull once said, Behold, my friends, the spring is come. The earth has gladly received the embraces of the sun and we shall soon see the results of their love. All right, you got your journal handy. Feel free to whip it on out and also whip out your favorite spring colors. I'm looking around right now. I see lots of green. I see pink. I see reds and purples, shades of blues yellows and with those colors we're going to create a page that reminds us of the intentional power of new growth and new beginnings so feel free to hit pause and create and observe
wrapping up today's intentional session with a moment of gratitude. As you take time to slow down and connect to your inner state of being, what are you grateful for? Please take a moment to pause and reflect how much more effective you can be when you slow down and become intentional. If you feel comfortable, we would love to hear your observations over in the art room on our activity feed. There's a link in the description to join us over there because a shared journey is a journey that has more depth and more impact. Our community can give us the strength and the accountability to further succeed in our endeavors. The very thing you might be challenged by may be exactly what another needs to witness to grow on their journey. Thank you so much for slowing down with me, getting intentional with me, and creating with me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Peace, love, slow down.